In this lesson, we'll be discussing the neutralization of carboxylic acids. Question one reads, write the balanced chemical equation for the neutralization of propionic acid or propanoic acid with sodium hydroxide. Now, just a reminder of what a neutralization reaction is. It's when you mix an acid and a base and the products formed is a salt plus H2O. So with that said, let's draw out what propanoic acid looks like, the molecule. It's a three carbon chain because we have PROP. So we have carbon linked like this. And it's a carboxylic acid because we have OIC at the end followed by acid. And carboxylic acids end with carbon double bonded to oxygen and this carbon bonded to OH. And let's fill in the hydrogens. We have three hydrogens there, two here, now, as I mentioned, this is a neutralization reaction. So a base is being added to this and specifically it's sodium hydroxide. So NaOH, sodium hydroxide is a strong base and it completely dissociates into sodium cations and hydroxide anions. And this yields, this will dissociate as well because it is a carboxylic acid and acids lose their hydrogens. So it's this hydrogen that is loosely bound and it will actually bond with the sodium ion. So we have the same molecule technically and we have O bonded to Na+. The rest of the molecule, this OH and this H will form water. Just before we conclude and move on to question two, remember that carboxylic acids are typically weak acids. And this means that they only partially dissociate into H plus cations. And just to specify this molecule, given that it is an anion now, is called prop NO8 with the word sodium at the front. So sodium propanoate. Question two reads, what carboxylic acid will give potassium butanoate or another common word is potassium butyrate when it is neutralized by KOH. So let's begin by drawing out the molecular structure of butanoate. BUT represents four carbons. So we should have four carbons and the last carbon will be our carboxyl group, OH. So if we have potassium butanoate, they're actually giving us the product here. This means that this is one of our reactants. Let me just move that over here. Plus potassium hydroxide, that's our base. And this would form potassium butyrate or butanoate. Butanoate plus H2O. Butanoate would look like this without this hydrogen, and since it's an anion, it's negative along with potassium. And so there you have it, a quick discussion on the neutralization of carboxylic acids.